Welcome to Electron Line. In this example, we're going to show you how to calculate the work done by a gas as the gas expands. So here we have a situation where we have a tank with a gas in it. We have 30 liters of the gas, which is 0 0.03 meters. We heat the gas up so that it expands to 40 liters or 0 0.04 cubic meters. We're assuming that the process here is an adiabatic expansion, which means that P1 times V1 to the gamma equals P2 times V2 to the gamma. This gamma is actually the ratio of the specific heat sub P when the pressure remains constant of the gas and the specific heat of the gas when the volume remains constant. For a triatomic gas, that would be a ratio of 9 over 2 divided by 7 over 2 or 1.28. So if you need to know more about that, we have some videos in physics that explains all that. Also, we can say, therefore, that P times V to the gamma power is going to be a constant. And all this comes, of course, from the equation, the ideal gas equation, where we have P times V equals nRT. P is the pressure, V is the volume, N is the number of moles, R is the gas constant, and T is the temperature in Kelvin. Now, the work done when a gas expands can be calculated to be the pressure times the change in the volume as the volume goes from initial volume to the final volume. And of course, the pressure here will continuously change, and so we're going to do it in small iterative steps, and therefore we need to integrate all that. Now, the problem is, if we have P and dV in the same integral, that is, of course, a problem. So we have to replace P times V, and, of course, what we need to know then is we need to know what this constant is. Of course, I forgot to write that down. Okay, let's say for the moment that P times P V to the gamma is equal to 115. So we'll just grab a constant and we'll use that to solve our problem. But now what we need to do is solve for P and therefore P can be written as that constant 115 divided by V to the gamma. Again, this constant is just an arbitrary constant. It doesn't really matter. So now we plug it in here. Now we can find that the work done is equal to the integral. Instead of P, we write 115 divided by V to the gamma times dV from V initial, which is 0.03 cubic meters, to V final, which is 0.04 cubic meters. Now we can simplify that a little bit by taking the constant out, bringing this to the top and making that negative. So this is equal to 115 times the integral of V to the negative gamma, and gamma in our case was going to be 1.28, times dV from 0.03 to 0.04. All right, how do we integrate that? Well, just like any other integral, we add one to the exponent and divide by the new exponent. So this is equal to 115 times V to the minus 0.28, that is one added to the exponent, divided by the new exponent, 0.28, and evaluate it from 0.03 to 0.04. All right, let's go ahead and evaluate that. Work done is equal to, we have 115 divided by a minus 0.28, and then we're going to evaluate 1 over v to the 0.28 power, so I brought it back down to the denominator, made it positive, and evaluate that from 0.03 to 0.04. I think now we can go ahead and plug in the limits. We have to plug in both, so this is equal to 115 divided by a minus 0.28 times, when I plug in the upper limit, I get 1 over 0.04 raised to the 0.28 power, minus 1 over and 0 0.03, because that's the lower limit, and raised to the 0 0.28 power. All right. Good thing we have calculators, because without calculators, that would be quite difficult to do. So how do we do that? Well, let's start with the one in the back. We get 0 0.03 raised to the 0 0.28 power. We take the inverse of that, and then we put a negative sign in front. Okay, so now we're going to subtract that from plus 
0 0.04 raised to the 0.28 power. Take the inverse of that. And now equals. So this whole thing, let me write down what that looks like. So we get 115 divided by a negative 0 0.28 times a negative 0 0.2066. So in case you want to try this yourself with your calculator, that's what you should get for what's inside the brackets. So now we multiply the times 115 and divide by 0.28 negative equals and that tells us then that the work done is going to be equal to 84.8 joules for, and again that's the work done by the gas from expanding from 30 liters to 40 liters under these conditions. So that's how you do a problem like that. Again, you need to find a relationship between pressure and volume. In this particular case, it's PV to the gamma equals some constant. Then you realize that the gamma in this case, because the triatomic gas is 1.28, we know that the work done is equal to pressure times dV, but pressure needs to be replaced by the function in terms of volume. So we did that here, and then we go ahead and integrate and put in the limits. And that's how it's done. I uh, should have picked a better constant, but hey, good enough.